Shay, if you're new here, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. But if you're OG, if you're part of Greenwood Gang, what is it? How are you, boo boo? Okay, so y'all, today is a very exciting day for me. Why am I about to cry already? Like, today is a very exciting and emotional day for me. Like, okay, y'all, so today is my business's three year anniversary. I started my business, as y'all know, like July 24th of 2021. I have so many screenshots here. Um, that I'm going to insert throughout this video and take y'all kind of down like memory memory lane with me while I do my makeup. I'm preparing for the day. I took off for today just so that like I get to celebrate and my team's still working there at their warehouse of course and so I'm taking them out to dinner tonight. Y'all we usually always eat Mexican. One thing about it I'm going to take them to eat some Mexican because I love me. I'm pretty sure I was Mexican in my past life like you can't tell me nothing different. So, I always take them to go eat Mexican. So, I wanted to do something really, really nice. What did we do last year for our two-year anniversary? I don't remember. But, um, so, we're going to have shell today. And half shell is like an oyster house. So, we're going to have shell today. Well, tonight. Whenever they get off work. They get off at 5. So, we're going to go then. It's going to be so fun. Yeah. I want to talk to y'all about the journey and, like, God's grace. This is the whole thing with this video and like if you put your mind to it, there's nothing you can do like you can't do. Once you put your mind to something, you can do it. So I used to be a teacher. Y'all know I graduated from Southern Miss to the top with a degree in elementary education. So and I'm not showing y'all what I'm doing. Y'all can watch me get ready, but it's not the purpose of this video. Like. I'm not a makeup artist, baby. You can just watch me. I just want to talk to y'all while I get ready. And then I'm going to gonna kind of vlog throughout my day. I don't know what I'm doing. I wanted to go get like a massage and go to the spa today. But it's raining outside. And I really hate to be out in the rain. Like I hate that. And I have also one of my, my content creator. Make sure y'all follow us on social media. Um, but my content creator, she's going to pick up the cake. I ordered a um, cake for us today whenever we go out in a balloon. So that I can take cute pictures when we go out. So she's leaving at one to go do that. Um, and I'm just gonna get ready. And so yeah, y'all, I graduated with a degree in elementary education and I always knew that there was never going to be the end all be all for me. Like I knew that God had something in store. Originally the plan originally the plan was to open a daycare center um with my degree. Because I used to work at a daycare and I'm like, dang, these people make a lot of money. Um, but God had other plans, so he allowed me to use my platform like as a teacher. Y'all know I went viral and I have a very large following because of how I was when a teacher. I wasn't like your typical teacher. I guess people love seeing like millennial teacher life, which I get. Um, and I shared the journey on social media. So that pretty much started my entire journey, right? I pretty much knew that like it wasn't going to be like a um my stopping point. And so God used my social media as a stepping stone. I remember like it was yesterday. I kind of want to talk before I start doing my makeup because I know I'm going to cry. Like, I, I know I'm going to cry, so I don't want to get my makeup messed up. But I knew that God was using it as a stepping stone. Once I had, I had well over a million followers on TikTok at the time. I started off like selling hoodies with my famous catchphrases. Everybody loved Louis Child. Like, Louis was one of the characters that a lot of my followers loved. Even to this day, when people see me in public, they ask about Louis. So, um, you know, it, it was life changing for sure, and I had no clue. Let's go back to whenever I had the following, I started off selling the t shirt, like the, the shirts, the hoodies, all that stuff with like some quotes and sayings and stuff like that. I don't know if y'all remember that era, but it lasted like a couple months. And I'm like, you know what? I'm selling all of this, but I'm not really making the money because I was doing it print on demand. And I didn't want to mark the shirts up too high because who's gonna pay like $50, $60 for a shirt? Which granted, now I understand that they would have. But um, July of 20, July 24th. And I've had this like for the vision to start my own business for a while, right? I was watching people on um, 
YouTube and I just knew that I wanted to start my own business. So, so yeah, I came with the idea to sell this oil. I launched it July 24th. Within a month, I made almost my yearly salary. I made like $32,000. So that was my baby. And the teachers don't, and I'm in Mississippi if y'all don't know, teachers don't make a lot of money. So I knew from the beginning, like it was time for me to quit my job. I think I was at like 19,000, 20,000. I was asking my family members like, hey, I, I made this amount in two weeks. Should I quit my job? And my mom was like, no. My dad was like, pretty much go for it. My stepdad was like, yeah, he would quit his job and go for it. I remember that um, like it was yesterday. So August 16th. No, it was the it was the weekend of before August sixteenth. I was making a thousand dollars. Look, well, no, I would say, Lord, if you want me to quit my job, allow me to make a thousand dollars by the end of today. And I think I said that on a Sunday, maybe or Sunday or Saturday. Later that day, I hit a thousand dollars, and I felt it in my spirit. Um, so I went home that Sunday, typed up my resignation letter, took it, turned it in August sixteenth, and I quit my job. And it's been up from there within and i don't say this stuff to brag for the people um who are watching especially if you're going through financial troubles like i don't ever say this to brag it's my testimony like being a small town girl from mississippi making forty thousand dollars a year as a teacher with a four-year degree to being a multi-millionaire with the eight-figure business now what i'm about to say is not to brag it's just to show you that if god did it for me he can do it for you i always use a joke that like i'm one of god's favorites but god truly doesn't love any one person more than the other. It's all about your bond and your connection with him. So I grew so strong in my faith. I was very steadfast and I just like learned so much on my journey with God. And I made a promise to him, Lord, if you ever allow me to make it, I'm gonna tell the whole world that you did it. And um, I'm gonna tell the whole world that you did it. And I'm going to help as many of your children as possible. And so that's my mission, you know, and I don't ever want to use money. Like I don't want young, I don't want money to like, use me rather i don't want to i don't want money to use me i want to use the money to serve god and his purpose because it's by no mistake that he's trusted me with these he could have did he could have trusted anyone else right with this vision with this plan with these goals but he trusted me and i think that that speaks like volume so i have no choice but to fulfill his will so anyways within the first month i made my yearly salary Within the first three months, I hit a, it was a little over three months. It was like three and a half months. I hit $100,000. So I made my first six figures. Within the first year, it took me like 14 months, I want to say. So the first, within the first year and like some change, a year and a month, within a year, I became a millionaire. And this past year, which is like, what, just shy of three years I hadn't even hit three years. So July 2nd, I became an eight-figure business. And this year, I think, yes, February of this year. February is always so monumental for me. Like the first February, I hit a million. This February was my first million-dollar month. First of mil many million-dollar months, right? And it's just amazing. Like when you put God first, I've been incorporating like fasting. And you just need to do your own research. I'm not saying like fast to get what you want. Like that's not how fasting works. But whenever you get connected to the creator, the, the possibilities are limitless. And another thing is so many people like are envious. I have lost so many friends during this. Well, not even friends. Um, I've had to let people go during this process. It's by no mistake. Everybody. And one thing I've learned that is that everybody can't go with you to the top. It's like an elevator. Sometimes people get off on the ride up and that's okay. They have to. You know, and when God is growing you in different areas, sometimes you have to like isolate yourself and get connected. And so once I did that, my life changed for the better. Like with my boy, he brought me so many blessings. And one thing about God, he don't just bless one aspect of your life. He blesses all of them. And so as my business started to thrive and mind you, I remember the days I used to pray, Lord, let me just make a hundred thousand dollars this month. Like if I make a hundred thousand dollars, I'll be the happiest. I mean, not, not 100000 If I just make $10,000 a month, I'll be so happy. Hit that. And then I say, okay, if I can just hit $100,000 in a month, I'll just be so happy. Hit that. Now, I say, and then I say, Lord, well, you can just let me hit a million in a month. I'll be happy. Hit that. So now it's like a million dollars in profit a month that we're aiming for. And I know we'll get it soon. Um, I want to leave y'all with 
and I may do a story time comment down below but I had something happen within my family like um and it just led me even closer to God because it was some evil stuff like that was being perpetrated against like me and some of my family members and it led me so much closer to God and I realized that wow like they tried to it's a long story. It's, it's a different story for a different day. I don't know y'all. Just to think that I started in my mom's house, like in my bedroom, just me. And then I moved to my grandmother's house because my grandfather passed away and she was, she had like extra room there. And it was just like, she don't complain like my mom. My mama gonna complain so much. I'm not trying to curse. Well, mama complained so much that I knew like, I had to get away. Like I had to get up out of there. So my grandmother opened her door for me and like I hired my sister to come help. Then my grandmother and her caregiver helped me. And then eventually my mom, she quit her job to help. And then I got this place built like, like a 2,300 square foot, <laughs> which is was big at the time for us. But now we've completely outgrown it. We moved into their warehouse space. And in that warehouse space, I have like 20 employees and I have like maybe eight employees virtually. So um, yeah, now we're moving into like a 31,000 square foot space. We closed on that in September, God willing. Don't worry, I'm gonna vlog the whole entire process. We're doing a grand opening. So if you're in Mississippi, stay tuned because we're opening like a storefront area. And it's just like amazing how faithful God is. When you put him first and your heart is pure, like the possibilities literally are limitless. It's, it's nothing impossible when it comes to God. And so, one scripture that I've been heavy on lately is 1 Corinthians 2, 9. And it says, no eye has seen, no ears have heard, no mind has imagined the things that God has prepared for those who love him. No eyes have seen, no ears have heard, and no mind has imagined the things that God has prepared for those who love him. And to think I was like, I'm literally... <laughs> from a small town. I graduated with maybe 38, 40 people in my class. A no stoplight town in Mississippi to being like an internet sensation, like a social media sensation and to be making seven figures a month. It's nothing but God, but I know it's something greater than me. It's something greater than me. And so much is coming. Like I have like this mission that I'm gonna do with my brand. And I told Lord, I'm gonna fulfill my promise. No matter wherever he wants me to go, I'm gonna go. Whatever he wants me to do, I'm gonna do it. And so I know it's gonna, um, I'm super excited for that. And to think that I have employed like uh, basically 30 people is insane. My pastor recently, the incident that I was telling y'all about that happened with some family members, my, pa my pastor actually, he came to me, he called me one day. And he prophesied and he told me, he literally said, go ahead and start celebrating now. Rejoice now. Because the things that God has coming for you in your business, you don't even know. He left me with three scriptures. And he told me to read them and learn them like they were the back of my hand. One of them is Isaiah 5. Did I date Isaiah 511? See, now I got to go look it up. Let me see Isaiah 511. Dang it. I'm going to have to, let me go look. I have to figure that out. Hold on. By the way. This is my prayer journal and it says be still and know that I'm God. I also have be still tattooed on me, but he gave me these three verses. Isaiah 55 11. Um, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall ac accomplish that which I please and prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. The other one is Romans 4 17. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him whom, he, whom he, who he believes. Even God who quickened the dead and calleth things that be not as though they were. And then in Proverbs 3, 5, 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean out on your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him and he will direct your path. He left me with those three. And I wrote it like it was clockwork. I learned it and I have it memorized. And those are some of the ones that stick with me so heavy now. So heavy now. Habakkuk 2 and 2 through 3. And it's something that I still do. Y'all see the journal. It says write the vision and make it plain. Y'all this is your sign to write the vision and make it plain upon tables for those who see it will run to it. Knowing that everything has an appointed time has changed my life. I applied for a warehouse which was like 8,000 square feet. My pastor called me he said God didn't give you that because he knew it wasn't big enough. You're thinking too small. I was in tears and I've never I've never had like a prophecy done um, and I didn't ask for it of course but like the way he prayed for my business and like prayed for me and whew, Jesus it's insane. I've been doing like I said y'all know I do the fasting but I've been doing devotionals and they have single-handedly changed my life starting each and every day with prayer like every single day starting it with God ending it with God I've always prayed and I always make sure to get on my knees and pray every single night every single morning before I start my day it just sets the tone for my day and when you leave with God every th single thing that you desire 
if it's pure and if it's in his plans for you, it's going to happen. And so I just came to tell y'all how good God is, man. Like God is so good. And again, like it's not to brag because if he did it for, for, for me, he can do it for you. One thing I had to get out of was like a jealousy mindset. And it's something that you, it's something that you pray through. I love seeing black women succeed. It's my favorite pastime. It's my favorite thing to do. And also, like, if you know that God is blessing others and you're seeing it, why would you think he can't do the same for you? You know, that means he's in the neighborhood. That means he's in a blessing business. If he's healing someone, that should tell you, hey, if he did it for them, he can do it for me. It's coming. He's in the neighborhood. And so, like... Everything has divine timing. Everything's there's an appointed time for every single thing, and your steps are already your steps are already ordered. And I, I just thank God for divine intervention. Like the things I thought I wanted, whether it's people, places I wanted to go, things I wanted to do, like the warehouse that I thought I wanted, like every single thing happens by no mistake. It's no mistake. It's raining outside y'all here. It it's, it's not a mistake. And so when I realized that and I learned that, that not all things, but God tells us in the Bible that not some things, but all things happens for our good and those who look for those who love God. Not some things. God don't work like that. Every single thing. And I try to, and that's when I realized that my like, it's so much I've learned on this journey with God. You have to have God. You can't make it without God. And if you haven't found him, then that's a journey that you need to take yourself. But I can't make it without God. Not a day. There's people that I would not be able to look at or stand. But God, I, I just pray any hatred out of my heart. Like, I pray even for people who've done me wrong. I don't have to like them or talk to them. But Lord, just heal my heart. Just purify my heart. Purify my heart, Lord God, and make it more like you. So, yeah, it's so exciting, like, to go from being, being employed to, like, employing other people and changing their lives, like, and then not only that but starting another business like y'all know i have learned with lachey where i basically teach other people like how to start successful businesses i'm super excited like i just i prayed this morning for god to work through me with that mentorship work through me and connect me with your people and i pray that he uses me to teach them like how to be successful as well and equip me with it, all of the tools that i need that is super exciting super 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 exciting i'm super excited to see where that goes like it's just the beginning for learning with lachey um one-on-ones are booked up but hopefully i'll have some more and they open on the first of every month they're booked up but i also want to um do some other things like i want to make sure that i for example um starting like a um actual i have i'm still to this day I, my, I vow to never stop learning and that's what's helped me so much. I paid $30,000 for this one mentorship. We meet up twice a uh, twice a year. So I paid $30,000 to join that and I've met so many people like I've met my TikTok rep through this like this. It's just weird. It's just insane how God works like he'll lead you to rooms and to think that there's heavenly meetings about me and my business and how he's going to use me as a stepping stone for other people like right now like throughout life god is going to use you as a stepping stone to help others but he's also going to use others as a stepping stone to help you and so that in itself <laughs> once i realized that oh man it was it was up so i just came to pretty much tell y'all how god how good god is I'm, I, I'm, I can't believe i didn't cry I, I like you know whatever but i'm so shocked i did not cry um, I'm actually going to end this in prayer. I don't think I've ever prayed for y'all. Have I prayed for y'all? I'm going to end this in prayer. I've been watching this pastor by the name of Stephanie. I could, oh, how do you say her name? Stephanie Ike. If you just look up Ike, it's, she's like, she has a Nigerian name. So it's hard to pronounce the last name. But if you look up Stephanie Ike, single-handedly, I feel like she's changed my life and helped me so much on my journey. Crazy, crazy. Life is crazy, man. One thing that I want y'all to make sure that you do, and one thing that you have to do if you haven't already, and this is probably where you should start. Okay, if the camera changed a little bit, my camera died a second ago. It's the devil. It's the devil. Flee from me. But I wanted to leave you guys with the power of the tongue. When you realize that you have life and death in your tongue, you won't just say anything. So when I see people 
joking about like, hey, my kid is my broke best friend. And why are you cursing them like that? It, I'll, you'll never catch me saying certain things, never. And so I learned that um, actually while I was on my journey and it hit me so hard because the way you think about yourself, other situations, it manifests. I have vision boards of things I've written down that's manifested, right? I have screenshots that y'all saw me include that, I, that manifest. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you give your energy to. Even people, I'm quick to tell somebody I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Like my dad, he came and he made a joke the other day about me and my boyfriend. I said I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Like I don't even play. I don't even play about certain stuff. And one thing I've learned is that you can write curses on you. You can like speak curses on yourself. Just imagine that. If you think about it, people can literally hypnotize you with your words. Have you ever seen hypnosis? Just with their words. Pastors can break chains and release demons just with their words. Well, words hold so much weight and so much power. Not even, I don't even joke the same way. The one Before I started my business, one of the things I used to say, well, I was like, um, even if it's something like saying like, I, you'll never catch me saying I can't afford that. I'm like, no, I'll get that later, right? I'll get that later. I'll come back to it. I, I, I'm gonna get it later. But you'll never catch me saying I can't afford it. I'm broke, I ain't got no money. Now my grandma, she's bad. I hate to call people out, but my grandma, she bad at this. She loves to say, "I ain't got no money." I'm, and mind you, I just, anyways, besides the point. Yeah. So like, it, 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 be careful what you say. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you speak. What you speak. What you think. God wants you to succeed. So like, why, why would you not? Why, why, why would you not succeed? Y'all be you. You you have to get out your own way. And that's one thing that I've learned. Um, and it's something that you have to consciously pay attention to. Even if people are speaking it over you. You say no, like one thing that they'll do, and they don't mean any harm by it, but my grandmother, my great grandmother, people, if they see me walking in the rain, or I have on short in October, when it's like fall weather, they'll be like, you gonna be sick. And I say, no, I'm not. Don't curse me like that. I'm not going to be sick. I'm very healthy and I'm going to remain healthy for the rest of my time. So it could be simple things that you think doesn't make any difference. You have to set yourself free of those curses. Y'all yeah, started using blush and baby girl, I can't tell me nothing. You can't see me nothing. I'm so excited to take everybody out tonight. And the one thing I want to talk about is like how everyone connect. I pray that everyone connected to me wins. So let me tell you how God works. Um, I hope I ain't putting on too much. Y'all let me know if I'm putting on too much. So I've been able to, my dad is like my Superman. If I needed a dollar and he only had a dime, he was going to make it happen. Period. So he bought me my very first car. And I always told him, whenever I get rich, I'm going to remember you. Well, did I say whenever I get famous, I'm going to remember you. One of those two, and it happened, right? Oh, my God. Is it too pink? And so, um, I recently, last year for Christmas, I bought him a brand new truck. It was his dream truck. My boyfriend kind of helped me figure it out. I'm like, what is his dream truck? But he's been driving around in my old car. He, he had, like, a car, but then it broke down. So, he's been pretty much carless. And so, paid in full. That was a hundred grand. It was 90,000 even, but $100,000 paid in full. And that's one of my biggest accomplishments so far. Um, one of my biggest accomplishments. And I just love this so much for him. My grandmother, I paid off her house. I, I don't think I made a video about it, but I paid off her house. And so, yeah. My mom, I gave her five, wait, is this six? No, it's five figures. Five figure chicks. She works for me, so... You know, she is taken care of. Um, my sister giving her money. My sister fly first class with me every single place I go. Everywhere I go, I wanna make sure that I show her the finer things in life so she don't be impressed by Dusty's. So she's good. We have our annual sister trips every single year, which I'm excited for. I took my I took my family on vacation this past summer. We actually just got, we came back in July. The vlog is up, y'all, the vlog is up now. So I paid for my whole entire family to go. That was a blessing. Like just being able to do stuff for them is just so like important to me. It's so, so, so important to me. And I'm just so thankful. Every year I do blessings in the backpack, which is like where we do like 50 or so, 50 to 100 backpacks to the homeless and then feed them. But recently God told me that was too small. It was fine the first two years, but now that I'm like an eight figure business, that's too small. So I'm working to see, I wanna do mission trips and I'm trying to see where I should start. Whether it's me going to Africa, Philippines and helping people there. We'll see where God leads me because I've been praying about it but I know somewhere is where I have to go. I have to go. 
and I have to like give back. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for that. I've been able to tithe and tithe well for my church. Mind you, it's only like eight members there, so I'm super happy about that. Um, and God has just been so good, y'all. I'm gonna end this clip with a prayer, but I'm also going to show y'all like my day. Like I said, it's our three year anniversary today, and so much has happened in these three years and the growth has been insane and it's just all because of God. Like, it's always God never mean. That's why I always, I thought I was gonna cry in this video, but I didn't, which is surprising. It's always God never mean. So yeah, I'm gonna close this part out in prayer, but I am going to vlog the rest of my day. I'm trying to see if I wanna go to the spa today. I did my makeup, so maybe I'll go Friday and celebrate. I wanna buy me some Van Cleef's for my three year anniversary. They have one like that I really want. It's like red and gold together. I really want that Van Cleef. So I'm gonna maybe shop today, buy myself something really, really, really nice. Um, And yeah, I get to get my, Never mind, y'all see that when y'all see it. But yeah, I'm gonna close this part out in prayer, but I'm also going to vlog later today, like this afternoon, whenever I take my staff out to eat so that y'all can kind of see like us together. And yeah, dear Heavenly Father, I just wanna come say thank you, Father God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for giving us joy in the morning and sweet dreams at night. Thank you, Lord God, for your unwavering grace, favor, and mercy, Lord. I pray that those who watch this, you just touch their hearts, Lord God. Lead them, Lord God, and let them know that if you've done it for me, you can do it for them. We know that faith without works is dead, Lord God. So I pray that in area, whatever area that it is that they want to prosper in, that you just give them the strength to succeed, Lord God, because it's no easy journey. I want to say thank you for the things that you've done for me and my businesses over these past three years, Lord God. Thank you for using me as a vessel, and I pray that I'm able to touch lives of many. Thank you, Lord God, for this platform that you've given me, the people that you allow to watch me on a day to day or to just share my life with. And I pray that they know that you're the head and I'm you're the head and the foot. You're the author and the finisher of my story, Lord God, and that my steps are already numbered. I rebuke anything evil, any evil spirits, any evil tongue that speak up against me and those watching, Lord God, and I rebuke them in the name of Jesus. I, um, I pray, Lord God, that you just continue to watch over us, continue to bless us, and day after day, just give us traveling grace, health, prosperity, and a sound mind. These names I ask and will give you all the glory and all the praise, Lord, and I pray, amen. Okay, y'all, so that's it for my makeup. I'm gonna do some more stuff, like, off camera, but y'all will see what it end up turning out to be, like, in a minute. It's 11.13 now, so I'm probably gonna take myself out to eat real quick and have maybe a drink or so. But I'll, I'll, I'll show y'all, I'll take y'all. So let's get ready to go. Okay y'all, so I am completely ready. I'm going to turn y'all around. So this is what I ended up putting on. Um, Really cute, really cute, classy. I was gonna wear like a blazer suit, but I was like, mm, that's doing too much. I really wanna just be comfortable today, enjoy my day. I love the pink with the feathers. Y'all know my brand is pink. And then I have on these, um silk it's just silk everything just giving black girl luxury it's really just giving black girl luxury at this point but okay y'all i call my friend and she's at work she works downtown so i'm about to get ready to go see her i'm gonna sit down and eat by myself have a drink i may work a little bit as well i'm gonna take my tripod i'm gonna do a little work and then i'm going to come back here hopefully around three because the team is gonna stop working at like 4 30 and we're gonna leave at like 4 45 so I want to make sure that I have everything like the cake, everything else is here, the balloon, and good to go. Um, so yeah, you guys, I just want to come show y'all the fit. I'm looking for some shoes right now. I don't know why. I'm looking for some shoes right now, and then we're going to head out. We're going to head out. So, okay, I'll just talk to y'all once I get to the restaurant. Okay, y'all, I actually came to my grandmother's house. So... I started the business pretty much here. So I wanted her to give you a few words about like how she felt and like the experience. We talked about it yesterday, but I'm gonna take y'all in here and we're gonna see what she got to say. This is gonna be interesting. Let's go. Okay, hit me remote real quick when we turn down. I'm filming a video and basically I'm telling them about like how we started the business because you know it's our three year anniversary today. And so I want them I want you to put in your feedback. Like, how was it for you? How did you feel? So she asked me in case she rent my room, but she released me with the whole house. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, she had boxes <laughs> everywhere. 
every room. I have a video, Timberly. She need to show it to you. Mariah, she literally, she was sitting here with Mariah and she said, and I would tell Turner to play that for you today. That's when I had, like initially it was supposed to be like a one little room, but it grew so fast. We had like boxes in the hallway, every like the kitchen, the living room. It was every rough. Every room. Yeah, and how did you put up with it? How did that make you feel? A fun, y'all. She hired me and friends. I started off work and we went one by two of them. Uh -huh. Then she said I got lots of order. Child, you know she fired me. <laughs> and she let I me did, go. I did. She fired me. I hired somebody else. You know, Granny. But every now and then. You'll help. Every now and then. I, I, she let me help them out. Right. Did you feel a way about that? Yeah, I didn't like it. <laughs> I saw it didn't like it. Granny wasn't moving fast enough, and Francis, she was putting labels upside down and all this stuff. So I was like, you know what? Let me get two kids. So I ended up hiring, like, they're kind of like family friends. I know them from around the way. And like I said, we're in a small town. So I ended up hiring two girls. I went through quite a few people, though. Yeah, you went through lots of them. Yeah, I went through quite a few people. All right, you meant, I tell me. Well, Timley still work for me. So Timley, my sister, y'all, she still works for me. Timley will only help with on the weekend. Yeah, Kiki. Oh, we had a lot of kids, Granny, that was helping over here. Yeah, Kiki. I lied. So we had like we maybe had like of. seven or eight people like here helping us. And then my mom ended up quitting her job and asking, can she come work for me? And so she ended up working for me. So now that kind of looked like staying when I looked up there at first. But anyways, yeah, so it was stuff everywhere. I'm gonna see if I can include some pictures, but what a time, man. Time flies, and they don't feel like three years ago, huh? Nah, it's so long, but it is. Huh? Oh, well. No, it's three. Three. July 24th, 2021, I started in Linda's house. I waste some, and she started doing too much cussing for me. So I said, let me get away from her. And so I um moved it over here. Then we moved to the new warehouse. Now we're moving into like our big warehouse. So September 3rd is when we close and we're doing a grand opening. So I want to see that bill. It's 31,000 square feet. It's going to be, it's massive, massive. We're doing a grand opening. So I'll let y'all know we're going to have food, alcohol. People can come in and shop on our um, launch day. It's going to be so much fun. But okay, y'all, I just want to her to come tell y'all her story because oh, I can come it seems, <laughs> yeah, you have to come. You have to come. It seems like so, I don't know. Like the journey seems long, but the years feel short, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I remember having a hat, putting the um, whoop shea butters in the freezer, having to whip them by hand, pumping everything by hand. Yeah. All right, bye y'all. There she is, guys. Hey. This is Tashayla. Okay. I mean pretty much um, whenever I go out it's so much fun like when I get to do it I bring my laptop so that I can work I got me a nice little drink that's my friend right there she brought me a shot baby and I'm recording content on my phone so that I, I can have content for YouTube and then like for my own businesses so yeah it's lit bye Okay, so I ate my food, now I'm drinking my drink. I forgot what she said was in here, but 
I want to do a cheers real quick and take a shot. She gave me a shot, so you know we gotta take it. You know we gotta take it. So it's a big ass. It's a big shot. May we continue to elevate? May this only be the beginning. Cheers to three years plus many more elevation, exit, integrity, growth, and all things success. Round town. You is not that strong. And it's only like that because my TV is just It's only like that because she waited six hours to take a shot. But she's a certified drinker. Not anymore. I gave it up. Oh, let's take a picture. She's lying, y'all. This is You need to post it on Facebook and tag me. Okay. Baby, our pictures are from 2014. This is a pretty big shot though, but I'm gonna take it in a minute. Okay, y'all, my content creator is here and we are about to take some pictures. This little balloon was $16? This is crazy. You want me to um, carry the cake or this? I'll carry the cake. Okay, and you have a purple phone? Yes, I brought it. $16 for this one balloon is insane though. Make sure this balloon don't go nowhere, baby. I'm gonna scream. The cake is so cute. I carry the phone stand. So well, the plan is to take some pictures out here. Oh, I shouldn't have had all them drinks, y'all. So my sister came to take pictures here. So we're gonna take just some pictures right here in the front. And I'm gonna set y'all up so y'all can see. Okay. <laughs> Can you close it up? I am. Okay. And that's it. Just want to get a couple pictures. Oh. Want to get a couple pictures and we got them. Bye. Okay, y'all. So I finally made it back home. Period. And so I told y'all, I think the last y'all seen, I was taking pictures with Kobe. The pictures came out nice. I ended up meeting her because she picked up the cake. Y'all seen the cake? The cake is cute. But anyways, um, we decided originally, I know I told y'all I was going to half shell, but we're going to Iron Horse because it's like, it was like a better alternative. So like if we spend 750 plus, which we were going to do that anyway, we get a private room upstairs. Like I think they have a museum or something that they were saying. So it's like already a better choice. So we're going to Iron Horse grill and i'm gonna show y'all that i'm gonna vlog whenever i get there and it's gonna be in the vlog i just want y'all to kind of see like the day like how my day went pretty much and like i was telling y'all earlier i called the what do you call the people like the um i called it was like a resort that we have here like a spa hotel type thing i called them and it would they had some availability but i didn't feel like going today i just wanted to do my own thing so Friday I scheduled to go there which I'm not gonna vlog I'm just gonna do like today's vlog so Friday I'm gonna go get a pedicure and a massage and that is how I'm spending my third year anniversary and I'll take y'all with me later tonight so yeah I'll call y'all back whenever we get there okay y'all I'm irritated because everybody pissing me off anyways it's 4 40 my reservation is at five we end up going to, I don't know if I told you we're going to Iron Horse because we got like a private room and all of that so we're going to iron horse instead of half shell where they at where the cake i'm so glad you said that oh my god we gotta go back to my house i forgot a cake so you can't be mad at me i can be mad at whatever i want it's been the <laughs> where they at they said they pulling up pulling up where because i need to go get the cake so i'm just your house i need to go get the cake i forgot the cake okay here they go oh my god get my keys out my bag I forgot the cake. Y'all, I literally, you tell them where the house? Okay, so um, Timberly and Kiki and Kiki are riding with me and we're going to- I done creased my drawer to mess with you. Girl, I put the shoes on. I did, and I didn't even want to wear these. I ain't had nothing to wear. Oh, I promise they had to do with me. It, it had everything to do with you. It didn't have anything to do it with did. me. It did. You should have hurried up. No, at first, because you should have told us. Get my keys. You were about the wrong thing. I forgot the cake. I'm so, I'm, oh, I'm so glad you missed the cake. It's right here. Okay, get it then. You going in and get the cake and lock my door back. Anyways, I forgot the cake. They wear their white. Everyone wear their white. I should have said white and then no, I forgot. I had, my top didn't match to my pants. 
I ain't. The top do match. The top I had on did not match. This didn't match. Say hey to my vlog. Hey vlog. It didn't match. You should just wear your pants. I ain't wearing okay. no pants. I don't have no other pants. The other pants was didn't go. I, I forgot the cake, so we're gonna have to go back to my house. That's why you made for me. Yeah. No, she was just cussing. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I know that's me. Oh, hold on, don't tell me. Ain't y'all? I'm so pissed. What y'all spray? Ain't y'all spray? Oh, no perfume. Oh, I'm gonna go to her. I don't got on clay. I got on Amberry. Uh, saffron. Saffron. Yeah, this same thing. Yeah, same. I know what I be talking about. Y'all gonna see? Is that by Dacia? Yeah. 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 It smells so good. I had long. Okay, so tell me the key so you can go ahead and perform and do not mess it up. I already, me and Kobe already messed up the cake. Why you got the camera so close? Key. What'd you just do? Stop get my camera. <laughs> hey guys, there's the queen. <laughs> Bro, she's mental. <laughs> Is he oh, alive? Oh, I'm gonna drink. Okay, let me show y'all the oh. thing. I don't know, but I want to walk over here. Oh, this is the little area. What they was talking about who these folks are. Oh, this is so cute. Who it is? Huh? No, we haven't. Who did it say? This is actually creepy a little bit. It's creepy. <laughs> Who it is? I want to touch one. Oh, it's a real piano. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, y'all, so we're here at the restaurant. It's a couple of employees here, but not everyone. Oh, was it? This is cute. I see you at the crossroads. Where? Behind, right there. <laughs> he said, it "Look like Donald Trump." Is this Britney Spears? She is from Mississippi, baby. She was born in Macomb. I know that's right. Okay, Brittany. It's the Mississippi talent for me, baby. One thing about it, it's the Mississippi talent for me. Mississippi, Mississippi. Okay, here we're gonna be. We're gonna be here. Okay. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for all being here. As you know, today is the three year anniversary for the main attraction. Unfortunately, everyone couldn't make it, but thank you to the ones that did. You guys make it so possible and effortless to run the business every day. And so thank you for what you do. You guys are appreciated. So cheers to three years and three more and three more and three more and some more success and prosperity. Yes, cheers. Yay. Cheers. We just shot. We doing Tito's wild shots. Okay, so we have to be the one. So what the hell? I thought it was weird. Go on, G. 
So the night is over and I'm on the way back to my boyfriend's apartment and I think that's it for tonight. All right, y'all. So that's it. I had an amazing day. I am going to post, what time is it? It's 8.02. Okay, y'all. So that's it. I just wanted to do like a vlog a day in my life. Do my life with Shay. <laughs> with Big Shay said again. <laughs> okay, y'all. Hey, you all made me say something funny, bro. So, uh, as I always say, you could have been anywhere, but you chose to be here with me. And that for that, I thank you. Always remember to take it easy and love you. And then, what did I say? As I always say, um, as I always say, you could have been anywhere, but you chose to be here with me. And for that, I thank you. Always remember to take it easy and love yours. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Shout out to my friend. I got diamonds to win since he's sliding both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuck a night, I keep the quality in my shorty bag. You know she want a mom when she tattooed that ass. I'm a lover boy, she got her toys. Keep it coming, you a rider. It's that roll myself a day and count my figures.